OCO. Now in today's video, I'm going to discuss the term Cherokee and I'm going to show you Anianwia on public record who are classified as Cherokee. Now the thing about it is that people who look exactly like these same people are classified or being classified by modern society as black, African American, Afro Latinos, and freedmen. Check this out. First we're going to discuss proper word terminology. As I always mention the word Cherokee is a misnomer for the Anianwia. Now we can prove that by taking a look at documentation from an ethnologist by the name of James Mooney. Now what James did was he interviewed the elders and documented everything for the Smithsonian Institute. Okay. Now this is an extract from the 19th annual report of the Bureau of American Ethnology. Now once we go to page 15 we see the proper name by which the Cherokee call themselves is Yangwinya or Ani Yangwinya and the third person signifying real people or principal people. We go here and it says the word properly denotes Indians. Further down Cherokee the name by which they are commonly known has no meaning in their own language and seems to be a foreign origin. And I did a video where I break down the term Ani Yamwia in the language. Okay, you guys could check that video out. Now, the first image that we're going to go to is of an Ani Yamwia who got classified as Cherokee on public record. This is from the New York Public Library. This is Chief Tuchi, a Cherokee war chief. All right. Now, the next image, basket makers. Now, this is from the Smithsonian Institute, Eastern Band of Cherokee. Beautiful young ladies. Well, one beautiful elder and one beautiful young lady. Okay. Australoid phenotype, Negroid phenotype. Classified as Cherokee on public record. Now we're going to go to West Carolina University Library. Take a look at this beautiful young lady. Negroid phenotype, woolly hair. And this image is from 1921 of Eflin Consine. Classified as a Cherokee on public record. Now we're going to go into the Library of Congress. Cheryl Bates, a descendant of Choctaws and Cherokees. Let's take a closer look at Miss Cheryl Bates. Get her phenotype, get her hair texture. She's not classified as black or African American. None of these people are. The next image we're going to go to from the Library of Congress, Joe Harris, Cherokee, Indian. Bronx, a.k.a. Kesh Kesh Ketch. That's the original name of the Bronx, New York. The Bronx originally was called Kesh Kesh Ketch. Then they changed it went after it was incorporated by the Dutch and is named after Jonas Bronk who was a landlord. I think that was back in the 1600s or something like that. Okay, Now, take a closer look at Joe. Alright. Let's backtrack. Cheryl Bates. Miss Consign, basket weavers, our war chief, all classified as Cherokee on public record. But as we can see here, the proper name by which the Cherokee call themselves is Yamwiya or Ani Yamwiya. All right. 
Cherokee is the name by which they are commonly known, has no meaning, no meaning in their own language, and it seems to be of foreign origin. Bottom line. Okay? I'll see you guys next time.